Today we're sharing a really simple tip that can be a really big help when perforating or kiss cutting on your folding or scoring machine, primarily with devices that use a perf blade against the cutting anvil. The problem is this. When the Allen screw on the collar is tightened, the very act of tightening pulls the collar off center, as shown in this diagram, exaggerated here for clarity. So as the shaft rotates, there will be a high spot at the Allen and a low spot opposite the Allen. As the two shafts rotate, these high and low spots cause the gap between the tools to change. Watch the gap carefully in this animation. With conventional perf or scoring tools, this probably won't matter. With anvil style perfing, it can mean the difference between cutting and not cutting. It means high and low spots in the perf, and it can also affect the register if your pull-out wheels have a lot of slop in them. How do you get around the problem? Position all your allens at 12 o'clock on the top shaft and at 12 o'clock on the bottom shaft. I'll tell you how to do that in a second. The end result is that the high spot on one shaft hits the low spot on the other shaft, sort of canceling out the off-center condition in the tools and pull-out wheels. However, most of us were not taught to do this. We learned to position all the allens so that we could have instant access to them on both shafts as shown. It sort of makes sense. It's easier and faster, and back in the day when not much perfing or scoring was done on the folder, it didn't make much difference, although it could still affect register. For precision work, however, it is critical. So here's how to get that 12 and 12 positioning. 1. Loosen the allens on everything on both shafts. 2. Pick one shaft and rotate all the collars and tools on that shaft so the allens are facing the 3 o'clock position, then tighten. Rotate the shafts exactly 180 degrees. 4. Now rotate all the loose collars on that opposite shaft so the allens are at 3 o'clock and tighten. This will give you the 12 and 12 position. And you can check it by rotating it through a full revolution. As you reach 12 o'clock on the top shaft, the allens on the bottom shaft should also be at 12. 